Hi, I'm Stephen Herrick. I wanted to locate how to repaint a life in a typical Australian country town. I didn't have one particular town in mind. Rather, I wanted to focus on certain locations within our country towns. Uh, the grandstand where Ethan sleeps, the main street and cafe where Ethan works with Joan, the middle-aged cafe owner, Sophie's family home and the river bend where Sophie swims and her family swims. In many ways, as Ethan is escaping his previous town and, da and his dangerous father, the location of the book had to be welcoming in some way. There's a real focus on the town at the start as we need Ethan to feel comfortable and to consider staying. Put simply, books build empathy. Books allow us to explore the world and its characters and ideas in the most intimate, joyful and safest way possible. Or at least that's what I'd like to think. So while it's important that we see ourselves in books, perhaps it's equally important we experience our common humanity through characters that are not like ourselves, that are not like us. I think every novel does that. It's just a matter of whether it does it well or believably and whether we buy into the model it's suggesting. I hope How to Repaint a Life shows the optimism and adventure of being young, the possibilities available to all of us if we care to look, if we care to search outside of our comfort zone. The relationships highlighted in this book are not just between characters of a similar age either, uh, or similar background in fact. There's also an exploration of the relationship between Ethan and Joan, the middle-aged cafe owner I mentioned earlier. Uh, also Ethan's connection with Jerry, Sophie's dad, uh, and Sophie's connection with her hairdresser, um, Julia, in the book. Uh, I hope each of these shows each of these relationships shows the potential for friendship and understanding between the generations. That was something I really wanted to focus on when writing this book.